evening. I wanted to show you how I temporarily, temporarily, temporary, temporarily, 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 oh, <laughs> I don't know how to say that word, temporarily, 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 that's not a word, I have made a temporary, I've got an idea for a short term solution my blackout blinds until my things that I'm going to order next week arrive this is what I'm going to be using to block out the light so here's one of them it's a black bin bag with cable ties I've got another bin bag with cable ties to do the next part what I'm going to do is put the cable ties through these for now push it through the bag and just leave them there that gives me privacy currently at the moment. When I look out, it's black bags, it's night time, the light doesn't pass through as good. It's a little bit of light, but not a lot. It's enough to cut it out. And from the outside, you just see black. So that's pretty much well, how I'm going to have my blackout blinds for the next maybe two to four weeks. Once I get the paycheck in, like I said, I'm going to get the rain covers and look at getting that privacy net sort of thing net curtains maybe even a blackout curtain as well but yeah for now short term i'm using black carrier bags black bin bags with some cable ties so if you've got some bin bags and cable ties hanging around you can black out the back of your cab just using them so it's a cheap short term solution but it does work for now and i'm currently while well, i'm doing that sorting out the van if you look it's just it's a bit manic in the next couple of weeks I've got to make some big changes like there's just no room there is no room up here look all this space people suggested it get shelving up there as soon as possible block it off shelving and storage I think that's got to be done like really soon because then all that becomes storage and that takes it away from the floor. It means I can put things up there and I need to get power bank. I've got two battery powered LED lights and I've got this USB powered strip light running there. Can't charge that about a power bank and these will need batteries. So again, it's not long term. So I need a power station and shelving. Yeah. Anyway, only a short video, I just wanted to show you my blackout blinds, how I'm blocking out the light in my first week of doing this, and then when I make more changes you'll see, but I've got to sort this out, I mean look, look at this ottoman, I packed it, closed that side, and then everything else in this side, I just haven't got room, I haven't got room, and then up this plastic crate I pulled from home, in there I've got my kitchen bits, I've got cups, I've got a gas little mini cooker, some wet wipes and things like that. So yeah, it's mad. It's so much space taken up. I've got a little one hob cooker and a gas eater next to there as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? The biggest thing that's taken up space now is I've got a big bag full of electrical stuff, like my computer, which I can't charge, so that's just sitting there, and the acoustic guitar, taking up a lot of space, and I think I might have to ditch the lid off the ottoman, just leave this open for now, and put the guitar on top when I sleep, and just pull things out as and when I need it in the day. It's going to be a lot of pulling out, putting back, pulling out, putting back at first, but it is what it is, and that's my fridge at the moment, this little cool bag. So I'm gonna cook up some dinner, sausages and a steak from my fridge on my little gas cooker once I get a bit more space because there's no room to cook. Anyway, yes, I hope you like my little temporary solution. I'll give you a little ending as I finish this, but yeah, speak soon, much love. There we have it. That's my little blackout blind made from bin bags. <laughs>